हेलो एवरीवन होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस द थर्ड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीड कोड बाय वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट 89 इट्स अ मीडियम लेवल प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम नेम इज मिनिमाइज मैक्सिमम ऑफ एरे सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सेज दैट यू आर गिवन अ जीरो इंडेक्स एरे नम्स कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ एन नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर्स इन वन ऑपरेशन व्हाट यू व्हाट यू नीड टू डू इज यू नीड टू चूज एन इंटीजर आई सच दैट ऑब्वियसली आई लाइज बिटवीन वन टू एन and nums of i is greater than 0 right now what do you need to do you need to decrease the chosen number by 1 and you need to increase the number just before it that means nums of i minus 1 by 1 so decrement the current number and increment the previous number return the minimum possible value of the maximum integer of nums after performing any number of operations right uh, let me explain you with the help of the given example the given example is you are given an array 3 7 1 and 6 so what it says you need to minimize the maximum value present in this array right so what are the operations that we can do suppose this seems to be maximum element right now let's decrease it and increase it so the array becomes 4 6 1 and 6 right this is what the array becomes now like let, let's again choose this so now it becomes 5 5 i decrement this i increment it 1 and 6 right now 6 is the maximum number so what i can do i can make 5 5 increment it and decrement it right now just see there is no possible operation that you can do such that uh, we get a value we get a maximum value which is less than 5 now right now the maximum value in the array is 5 my aim is to get a maximum value less than 5 is that possible just see it is not possible why if you choose this so though it will become 4 but this will become 6 and some points to note here are if i talk about the first element then the value of the first element can only be increased it cannot be decreased why because because i need to choose a number if this is my number so i can decrement it and i need to increment the previous number right so for the first number for the first number uh, if this is my first number so since this number doesn't have any previous number so this can only if this number is only dependent on the number just after it right if this is my array these are the elements so this number is only dependent on this particular number rest all the numbers have a left hand side and a right hand side so this value can either be increased or decreased to increase this value you decrease this and this value will increase and to decrease this value you decrease this value and this value will be increased but what about the first value the first value can only be increased because when this will be decremented then this will be incremented so this is just an observation and similar for the last value uh, this can only be increased that cannot be decreased right now this was just one observation i wanted to tell you now just see this is my array right this is my array so let's consider some elements like let's consider this right so i uh, i can always shift a value from here to here and then here what do i mean to say suppose uh, suppose uh, i want to uh, this suppose this value is x this value is y and this value is z so what i need to do i need to change the value of this to z minus 1 i want this value to remain y and i want to increment this value to x plus 1 right what can i do i what i can do is i can pick these two elements right one of the ways is i can pick these two elements so z z becomes z minus 1 y becomes y plus 1 and x remains as it is now I can pick these two elements, so it becomes x plus one. It again becomes y, and this z minus one. Why I told you this is because if I know that my maximum number, if I know that the that that my maximum number uh, in my in my array is suppose max, then what are what is the sum of these values? Like like this is my array, this is my array. So if I pick one, two, three, if I pick these three values, right? and if the maximum value that i can have in my array is max then what could, what will be the sum of these three values it will be less than or equal to 3 into max value right if all are uh, all are max then it will be 3 into max 
or if even a single one is less than max then it will be less than max so this is a condition right so some observations were first element is dependent can is it does not have a previous element so it is dependent on the uh, next element this is just for the first element the second observation was i can flow a number from right side to left hand side right i can flow it it because i am not bound by the number of operations that i can do right so what does that mean it means that it means that if i know the max value if i know the max value then all i need to do is i i can uh, i can do a binary search a simple binary search so in these type of questions na binary search is the uh, best approach because you do not know what is the maximum value you you want to find an optimal value right so a brute force approach will be start from 1 then go to 2 then 3 then 4 and 5 what do i mean by this that consider 1 is your max value right so is it is it valid if not move here if not move here and so on so instead of it this i can do a binary search i know what is the min possible value i know what is the max possible value let's take this to be anything let's take it starts from 0 and this value will obviously the maximum element in the array the maximum element in the, in the array will be the max value right so now what i can do i can do a binary search i can pick up the mid value and i can see that is it possible to transform my array such that the maximum element is equals to the mid element right so i i do that how i do that exactly the uh, logic that i explained you here you st you start traversing your array you know that for the current iteration your max element is this so just see what is the sum of the first element if 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 uh, if the sum of first element is greater than like what is the expected sum it will be 1 into the max value that is that that you are considering for the current iteration if uh, your your sum till now is uh, greater than this value then you return false right now you choose first two elements so if your sum is greater than 2 into max then you return false what i mean to say is whenever your sum is less than the max possible value yours is a valid case because you can move the numbers from here to there right that is the main thing right uh, or from the right hand side to the left hand side so this is what we do we choose this if this satisfy five are condition so we make it our answer and we check that is a value lesser than this also giving us a valid array so we do a binary result similar you find this if this is valid you move to this part if you find this to be invalid invalid move to this part and so on basic binary search right so let me just show you the code so this is the code very small one uh, my code starts from line number 13 you can see left equals to 0 and right equals to the max element present in my array right because that can be maximum value that i can have right answer starts from 0 now what i do i do a binary search while left is less than equals to right you fetch the mid value on line number 17 you call the function that whether your array is valid or not like if you consider this has to be the max value what do you do your sum equals to 0 you start traversing your array what do you do sum plus equals to norms of i now if your sum is greater than the number of elements that is i plus 1 into the maximum value then it's an invalid case just return false or else your case is valid you keep on iterating it over the array right now on line number 17 if this was a valid case your answer is updated to mid right becomes mid minus 1 else left equals to mid plus 1 you keep on doing this and finally you return the answer right so yeah this was the solution again the accuracy of this one is pretty low um, i think uh, again it it depends how you how you tackle this type of question right binary search is one of the best ways to tackle this right um otherwise probably some of you might have thought that we can take a priority queue and something like that right but this one seems to be a, a the, the simplest approach so yeah i hope you learn something new from this video do do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case you have any queries do mention that in the comments uh, also if you want to connect with me you can connect with me on linkedin the link is mentioned into the comments right so yeah take care Have a good day. Bye bye.